what it is about today, but for some reason, I woke up feeling really brave. Like, I thought nothing was going to scare me. I had this unshakable confidence, and I decided why not test that out with a test. We are going to attempt to take the Watson Scott test, which I've heard is a scary test. Nothing is going to break this confidence that I have to not be scared, so we are going to get through this whole thing right now and see how it goes. If you guys cool with that, you down with that? Everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go! I don't know why my voice always cracks in the intro. It doesn't make any sense. Da -da -da. This test is designed to help you understand your deepest anxieties and the underlying causes of your darkest fears. Did I say darkest? For each question, select the response which gives the best and most truthful answer. At the end of the examination, you will receive your analysis and a certificate of participation virtual or spiritual or physical because i want all three i really want to be stimulated in all ways please note that typically only 13 percent of participants i predicted the text are able to complete the test due to the one i mean onset of total body paralysis or unanticipated cardiac arrest resulting in death that's cap do you wish to continue of course i do come on give me that like i told you i am not scared today i'm brave i got big balls firstly some calibration questions oh calibration holy crap i can't even read is this an english test what color is the sky during the day blue bitch blue purple or green if you have a green sky you need to move out of there that's toxic if i have one apple and you give me two apples how many apples do i have okay if you have one apple and i have my own two apples and i give you them then that means you get three apples you son bitch and i get no apple so you're a greedy ah. are you playing a game right now of course i am because i bought this shit off steam of course i am come on stop playing with me dude <laughs> they ask you these questions to try to scare you, but nothing's gonna scare me right now. I'm in that mood. Are you sure it's a game? Positive. HIV positive, dude. Stop it. What? What? Oh, okay. Got an achievement just for answering some questions. Calibration complete. Your test will begin now. All right. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's go. Brave mode activated, baby. It's raining outside, and you're walking in bare feet. You take one step forward. Okay, my heart's kind of beating fast now. <laughs> and crush a snail between your toes. That sounds kind of hot. You feel, what do I feel? Happy, guilty, jealous, disgusted, nothing. So we're gonna take this test for real. We're not gonna troll. We're not gonna just be stupid just for the sake of being stupid, which I never do. But I'm gonna answer these questions like I would if I was actually taking a test. If I stepped on a snail, which I've done before, I automatically feel so guilty. Like I pull my foot back and I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry, I wish I could take that back. So I would feel really guilty. That would actually piss me off a lot. And it would just make me feel so bad for the snail. There's a knock at your door. You open it to find an old woman, whoa, in tattered clothes. That didn't scare me. She says she's being chased and wants to hide inside your home. You tell her to seek help down the road, offer to call the police while she waits outside, quickly invite her inside, say nothing and close the door in her face. That's tough. That's tough because an old ass woman, I mean, it depends because old people are scary. So if I open it and she's just like hideous, like she looks like one of those people in those scary movies that'll haunt you in your sleep. I don't know if I'll let her in, but I also don't want her to die. I'll just let old age take care of that. But, um, let me see. Tell her to seek help down the road. That's messed up. That's not right. You're going to hell for that. Offer to call the police while she waits outside. Then what if she dies? What if she dies and I hear her dying outside? Like, I don't want my dinner to be interrupted by some screams. Quickly invite her inside. Should I do that? If I quickly invite her inside, close the door, get my baseball bat ready, and then call the police. And if she tries something, just whack her over the head. I think that's the best option. So I'm gonna invite her inside, then I'm gonna call the police, but not before I get my baseball bat. Your pet cat drops a dead mouse on your front door step. Its front legs are missing. You feel- I'm so sorry, I would never have a pet cat, okay? It was just a question. The test didn't mean it, I'm so sorry. 
Mr. Shaw, you're the best. Anyway, where were we? Your pet cat drops a dead mouse on your front doorstep. Its front legs are missing. You feel proud, disgusted, satisfied, sad, or concerned. I mean, that's what cats do, right? They just mess mice up? I, I mean, I don't know. I've honestly never had a cat in my life before. Is that what they do? Like, they just do evil shit like that? I don't know if I'd feel proud. Like, would I give my cat a pat on the head and be like, good job, you know? Great job, sonny boy. Like, I don't know. Uh, I guess I'd feel disgusted. I guess I would feel a little disgusted. I will now show you an image. Please study. Ooh, look at that face! Please study. The image will not move. I'm not getting goosebumps, by the way. But I didn't like that face that just popped up right there on the screen. Ooh, okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. I'm not getting the chills. Actually, that's cap. I'm getting the chills, and my nipples are hard as hell. That looked like a doll face. Like a small doll face. How did that image make you feel? It actually disturbed me a little bit. Happy, afraid, sad, resentful, nothing. It made me feel nothing inside. It did make me feel afraid. I'm not gonna lie to you. Wait, why is it saving like that? What does that mean? Do you believe in ghosts? Oh, that's a tough one. I'm undecided. I feel like the ghosts in my house are listening right now. If I say no, they're gonna haunt me tonight. Do I believe in ghosts? I'll say yes, I do. Okay? Just to calm all the ghosts down. All right, ghosts, you hear that? Have you ever seen a ghost? I have not, to answer that truthfully. I think I have, but I also don't know if I have. But I'm completely on edge right now. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> this is making me feel a little tense. Thinking about the room you're in right now. Has anyone ever died here? Yes, not yet, unsure. Not yet, <laughs> you know? Not yet, maybe in the future. This is actually creeping me out a little bit, but I'm unsure. Let's just say we're unsure. I don't like these noises, dude. I don't like these noises. It's good thing I'm wearing a long sleeve because the goosebumps. The Lucy Goosies, dog. Hmm. Quite un unique answer so far. Really? Nobody ever answered like that? I don't know if I believe that. I really don't know. Please indicate how strongly you agree or disagree with the following statements. I'm sorry I'm reading it like that. I mean, you guys know. Come on. Oh, what the heck? I sometimes see things that aren't really there. Strongly disagree, disagree, agree, strongly agree. I sometimes see things that aren't really there. Yeah, sometimes I'm an overthinker. What the hell? I'm an overthinker sometimes. I will say that. I often think about the ghosts inside my house. Strongly disagree, disagree, agree, strongly agree, disagree. I don't think about them at all. I take pleasure in seeing other people. Come on, in pain. I don't, I really don't. Like I remember back then when I did those Reddit 50 50 challenges and I actually saw people in pain. I felt really bad for them. I strongly disagree with that one. If the power went out at my house, I would think nothing of it. No, I strongly agree. <laughs> and not assume that someone was breaking in with the intention of murdering me. Why is this making me feel really uncomfortable right now? Strongly disagree. If it went out, I think I would freak out because first of all... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, hold on. Oh my God. That actually got me for a split second. That actually got me for a split second. Hold on. Oh God. Yikes. Ooh, man, that actually got me. Like I was like, no way, no way. But I mean, it is late at night. Like it is, what? It's 1030. It's 1030 at night. And I'm taking this test right now because I told you my balls were feeling big right now They had some weight to it, you know, like they felt like big steel balls But as soon as I heard that knocking for a split second, I was like wait it, Was that real? Was that just perfect timing? But come on now, but like I was gonna answer before if the power Can you stop every time I talk sounds happen. I'm just gonna say I strongly disagree shut up. I'm done with this I'm done with it. I'm not gonna just freak out from these stupid ass noises There's an unexpected guest in my house Strongly disagree. I have to, because if there was, well then I'd have to grab the shovel that's in my room right now and smack somebody up! Nobody would know if I went missing. 
disagree. Everybody would know. They'd be like, why didn't you upload today? Huh? Where's the better app, baby? Where's Jay? Poetry is the most intelligent form of artistic expression. I disagree because I don't know. I don't know. I just disagree because I don't like poetry that much. You need an attitude readjustment. Do I? I've designed a new algorithm for generating insightful poetry. Let me de demonstrate. The de demonstrate? Let me demonstrate. Okay, let's go. Show me. Show me. I want to love poetry, but you gotta show me, okay? Roses are red. Silent. Silent as a mouse. It's because the text is going so slow. Your door is unlocked. Stop. I'm inside your house. Stop. Stop it. That's not funny. That's actually not funny at all. And joke's on you, because I have cameras all over the place. Congratulations. Only 41% of participants typically reach this point in the examination. From now on, the questions will be much more intense. Do you wish to continue? Yes, no. Of course, what if I said no? Let me just say no. I'm gonna say no. And then let's see what they said. Agreed? I got an achievement called Agreed. Oh well, yeah, see, I knew it. Because I'm stuck. I took the test, now I gotta finish it. How far away is the closest police station? Whoa. God damn. Okay, let me actually think. How far away is the closest police station? I guess maybe more than a 15 minute walk? I don't know. I don't walk anywhere. Like, I drive everywhere I go. How well do you know your neighbors? Pretty damn well, actually. Like, we're pretty much best buds. We're like this. We're stuck together like two butt cheeks. I don't know my neighbors at all. We're good friends. I consider that a good friend. You hear that? We're good friends, neighbor. Hypothetically, if you were to scream as loudly as possible right now, would anyone hear you? I'm pretty sure my neighbors hear me all the time. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they hear me all the damn time. And they're probably like, God, Jay, what is he doing in there? Because they don't know I'm making these videos. They just think I'm screaming just to scream. Imagine you finish this test and you're lying in bed tonight, attempting to sleep. You understand, do I understand? That I'm inside your house. Oh my God, can these stupid sounds, man. And you hear me underneath your bed. You, you what? What the heck? My bed does not creak like that, by the way. Get up and look under the bed and I stab you in the eyes. Try to pretend you can't hear me or feel my presence. Then I stab you in the eyes. Fall asleep knowing that you'll wake up to stabbing you in the eyes. Stab yourself. I'll stab myself in the eyes before I let you stab me in the eyes. How about that, huh? I'd rather do it to myself. Sometimes it be your own. You're alone in a pod at the top of a Ferris wheel. 400 feet in the air. When it suddenly stops. A what the heck? It sounds like coyotes are howling outside the window. A fire has broken out below. The operator speaks over the intercom. Everyone is going to die a slow and painful death. But if you jump, I will catch you. Okay, you're alone in a pot at the top of Ferris wheel, 400 feet in the air. When it suddenly drops, the fire is broken out below. So I need to figure out what, because the operator says they're gonna catch you if I jump. Contemplate your existence before eventually being consumed slowly in the golden flames. Jump off and fly away. Bang your head against the wall as hard as you can until you become unconscious, leading to death from massive blood loss and blunt force trauma. Jump off and be caught. Yeah, I think I got this, right? I will now show you an image. Please study it. The image will not speak. Oh, good lord. I don't like the background noise. Super freaking creepy. <laughs> okay. This looks like, um, looks like a spider. Right? Looks like a nice, cute, harmless spider that we all know and love. Thinking about the image, which phrase best describes you? I am the redness. I am the spider's eyes. I am the legs. I am the fear. I am nothing. Honestly, I feel like out of that, I'm nothing. I honestly really feel that way because I'm not associated with that image whatsoever. I'll ask one more time. Are you playing a game right now? 
I am playing a game. Technically, I'm taking a test, but it is actually in video game form. So, what? Oh. Ooh. Dude, there's a face right there in the corner. Okay, Jay, be brave, remember? You said you're gonna be brave. You promised yourself. There's some faces popping up in the background, though. Do you know that I'm a good person? No, because I don't know you. I don't actually know you like that, dog. Are you lying to me right now? A little bit of cap. A little bit of cap. I'm not even gonna cap. That's a little bit of cap. Lying is forbidden. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You gonna spank me? Please select. <laughs> okay. Please select any of the following sports that you have played. Wrestling, jujitsu, mixed martial arts type. I've never done any of that shit. I only know how to whoop my own ass, which is what I'm doing right now. Please select, what the hell is that noise? Please select any of the following industries that you have occupational experience with. I need to breathe real quick. Law enforcement, private security detail, secret service, military, none of the above. None, none. I mean, I don't know any of that. The face on the right is kind of just like making me feel a little unsettled. Do you trust me to do the right thing? Yes. We're just gonna get on the good side, okay? Just, just get on the good side. Just pretend. What is the next number in the following sequence? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Because you're going up by 10 every single time. 5,879,000, I'm inside your house, boy! 50, come on. Your recent answers indicate you are exhibiting, oh god damn, fight, a flight, response, and maybe at risk of an acute stress reaction. I am kind of sweaty in my back. I'll need you to breathe slowly and calm down. Okay, press continue when you are calm. Okay, oh, only when you are calm. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, we're gonna calm down. Wait, this bitch said breathe slowly. I'm breathing kind of fast. Let me... Okay, we're good. We're good. I'm calm. I'm good. Please take a moment to look away from your monitor and observe the nearest exit. Make sure you could run if something were to happen, okay? I'm looking at it right now. Do this now. Doing it right. I'm doing it right now. Damn! This dude's so pushy. Shit, I'm looking at it. Come on. Did you look away from your screen? Yes. I swear to Buddha, I did. Yeah, f you though. But yes, I did. Okay. I really did. You all saw me. This is evidence. This is video evidence. If something happens to me, this is evidence. Do you think I can tell when you look away from your screen? Yes, yes, yes. Maybe. Maybe, baby. Come on, these sounds ain't gonna scare me no more. Do you feel safe in your house right now? No, unsure. I'm unsure right now, to be honest. I mean, I know this is just a game, but for some reason it's making me feel really uncomfortable. I don't know how I feel about it. Are you having fun? Low key, I am. Like, I am scared, but that's part of the thrill, right? Yes, I am having a lot of fun. I know when you're lying to me, okay? But I am having fun though, that's not a lie. Please ignore any external stimulus. Concentrate only on this screen. There are no unexpected guests in your house. There are no usual sounds coming from inside your house. Do not take your eyes off the screen. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. Liar. What? How? Do you understand? Yes, bitch, I said I understand. If you move, what? Music can help us all relax? Singing is relaxing? What to do when I, all around the mulberry bush, the monkey chased the weasel, the monkey stopped to pull. What the heck? Hey, okay, 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 I get it. Jimmy's got the whooping cough and Tommy's got the measles. The, hey, I don't even know this song. I really don't. Jimmy's got the whooping cough and Tommy's got the measles. That's the way the story goes. Pop goes the weasel, pop goes the weasel. Jimmy's got, the, okay. Yeah, play the little tune. Okay, pop goes the weasel. Oh my God. What the hell is that noise? Yo, somebody really coughing up a storm. Okay, do you want me to sing too? Jimmy's got the whooping cough, pop goes the weasel, pop goes the <laughs> oh, I survived the Watson Scott test. 
It lasted 26 minutes and 7 <laughs> I don't have a firm handshake. I guess I'm a narcissist. Ugh, god damn. When an old woman comes to my door, I quickly invite her inside. I'm most afraid of what other people think of me. Okay, thanks dude, appreciate ya. Oh, dude, don't do this again, don't do this again. The main test is complete. There's another one? There is a bonus test available. Would you like to take it? Should I do it? Should I do it? You know what, might as well, right? I mean, this game is a couple years old. Very well. Great. What the hell am I getting myself into? This second test is designed to challenge your fear tolerance. Incorrect answers will be punished. Bet, come on. I like being spanked, I like being choked. Ignorance will be punished. All right, give it to me then. Give it to me, baby. Aha, aha. I must also admit that I have not run this test before. There may be unexpected malfunctions. Your answers will be used in the development of future tests. Okay, well give it to me. As long as you don't jump scare me again, I'll be all right. Complete this test as quickly as possible. Well, can you make the text go faster? Can you make it go faster, please? I know it started at 666, but come on. But do not let that clock concern you. Okay, I won't. It is nothing to be concerned about. Got it. So let's start it up. After the examination, you will have a better sense of purpose and a stronger resolve. I want you to be stronger. Why are you telling me this and then making the clock go down? I'm not answering any questions. Do I want to be stronger? Yes. Give it to me. Let's begin. All right, I'm ready for it. How many bones are there in a newborn baby that I haven't met yet? What does you having to meet them have to do with anything? Um, I don't know, 204? Incorrect, shit. What does that mean? 0112, what's the next? Two. 0112233, right? Incorrect! How many times per year does the average human heart beat if it is not stabbed? Uh, let's just say 200 million. Incorrect! I got everything wrong! One of the most venomous land snakes in Australia, the death adder, Ancanthosis antarctarctus, bites an adult woman injecting a highly dead neurotoxin. How long does the woman have to live? One hour, 24 minutes, six hours, 20, 24 minutes? Please be, oh my God, dude, what's wrong with me? A man is tied to a chair against his will and a funnel is placed inside his mouth. Pulverized pig intestines are poured in. How much volume does the man's stomach hold before it ruptures? You know what? We gotta get this one right. Two liters. Give me some of that. Incorrect! Bro, oh my god! Stop! What is wrong with you? Oh my god, and then my camera died too. Thank god you didn't see me being like a little bitch more. A fear of butterflies is called a cyborphobia. Electrophobia, leptotrophobia, ligrophobia, claustrophobia. That one's like a fear of closed spaces, right? Ligrophobia? Is that fear of tigers? I don't know. Lepitrophobia? Oh my god! Oh dude, I finally got something right! <laughs> yeah, I finally got something right! A boy with no arms is facing west. He walks forward for 60 seconds and then turns 90 degrees left. He sees someone running at him, so he turns 180 degrees and begins to run. Which way is the boy facing? Not a trick question. Okay, so he's facing west. He, uh, wait, which way is west and east? God damn it, I keep forgetting. Um, west is uh, this way, left. Okay, so he's facing left. Um, and then he turns 90 degrees left. So now he's facing south. So he, um, north, he's facing north. Give me that shit, boy. Give me that shit, boy. Come on. You know I know that shit. How do tapeworms enter their hosts? Airborne tapeworm burrowing through the skin, bites from infected sores or open wounds on the flesh, ingested by humans. <gasps> I'm just, I'm, I'm a killer. I'm a test killer. I'm a killer on the thriller. That doesn't even make any sense. I was just trying to rhyme for no reason. 
Please use the third response. This is not a trick. I will not scare you if you do what I say. I am not lying. Okay, well, they're saying that it's not a trick. So if I choose the third one, that means no matter what it says, I'll be good. It says, I am lying and I will scare you if you choose this. All right, well, we got it right. And if you scare me, I swear, we're gonna be prepared. Okay, what is the positive electrode called? Anode, dynode, I mean diode, cathode, cathode? Oh, that's bad. I'm sorry, please don't scare me. We don't have that much time left. Which was the best video game released in 2014? Game of the Year 420 Blaze It, Crossy Road, Five Nights at Freddy's? Is it 420 Blaze It? <gasps> oh my god, I am a freaking legend in my city, dog! What is my favorite thing to do? Contemplate the human condition, listen to jazz, bathe in deer blood? Listen to jazz? No, contemplate the human condition, please? I am so good at this game. I need to take the Watson Scott test more often, dude. Because I'm about that life. The test is now complete. Don't scare me. Don't you do it! Your results are very helpful, right? Your participation was adequate. Whoa, 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 okay, there are no more tests. We are done here for now. Thanks. I'm so sick of watching, I want to start participating. Huh? Goodbye. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, the test left me with a sweaty shirt, sweat under my hat, heart beating really fast, a tight butthole, all the above. Um, we got through the Watson Scott test. I told you I woke up feeling real brave today and I feel like I did a good job. Can I get a round of applause for me, please? Can I get a round of applause for me for taking this test so late at night and passing it with flying colors? Can I get that one time? No, on a serious note though, I know this is just a video game, but for some reason it's leaving me with a really unsettling feeling. Like once I leave the room that I'm in right now, I'm gonna be a little more heightened. Like my senses are gonna be a little more heightened. Every time I hear a noise, I'm gonna be like, what was that? What was that shit? <laughs> <laughs> but this was a cool game. This was a cool game to play. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude! <laughs>